<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be finally stretching my ears to 916. I already know this is gonna be probably another dead stretch, uh, considering I've been doing quite the small little baby steps in between sizings. The jump itself from the half inch to the 9 sixteenths was way too much for me at first. I've been using the taping method for stretching instead in between. I know a lot of people have already suggested just generally when it comes to ear stretching that the taping method is a lot safer for your ears and it's definitely faster and I can definitely agree on that as of right now and I'm kind of upset that I never tried it sooner but it was just kind of something that was in the back of my head and I, I don't know, I just didn't get it. So I got my Teflon tape at Lowe's. Just looks like this. It's really strange. It's not sticky, but it sticks to itself. So the last stretch was obviously a dead stretch. <laughs> it made a difference. I compared the plugs and they were different, but just really slightly. I had the Teflon tape on it. What I did was I just did two layers around the the tunnel. I can definitely feel that it was, it made a difference. As soon as I had put the tape on, it was a lot harder to fit in my ear, like duh, that's kind of what it's supposed to do. And yeah, so as of now, I've had that in for about two weeks, so I'm going to try to do this next size up, but I honestly feel like it's going to be another dead stretch. So just to compare the sizes before I do, this is the 13 millimeters. For the half inch, it was 12 and, thir and or 13 millimeters. This is the next size up. So this is 9 sixteenths. And I think it's pretty damn big. And not only am I excited for that, but I'm excited because I have these black tunnels that I've been dying to put in. So this is the tunnel. Double, double flared eyelet, if you will. It's a screw on. So I'm putting a water-based um, lotion. I love that I can finally feed my finger <laughs> in my ear. Okay. Oh my god, this is actually... You know what? I probably do need the taper for this one. I'm always excited I always say that but I am so this only stings a little it's not too bad to be honest it, it went in a hell of a lot easier than last time and I started out with my bad ear I've been wanting to get to this size for so long and make me feel happy wish me luck I'm gonna try my best to do it the way you guys can see it huh she went in fast, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. What a fucking great feeling. So this is what it originally was. This is the 13 millimeters. We're at 9 sixteenths. But I wonder if it'll just go into my good ear. This stretches like, like usual. Uh-huh, I think I can. Yep. These are a lot cuter! Don't you think? I just really like the black. But it's so cute and they look so big. So this is where we are. Woohoo! We went from this to this. But in black. Bitch. I'm excited to say the least, though I've said it already a hundred times. Just to give you a visual of what I did with the Teflon tape, so I just put it on my plug. Start rapidly wrapping. So this is, this is one wrap. And so the last time around I did two full layers. Chop it off. 
that sticks to itself and it's not even sticky. For some reason, you know, these eyelids have a little scuff on them, but that's okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a really fun time and I'll see you guys on the next stretch up, which is gonna be, let's find out. I hope you can read it. Anyways, thank you again so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I'm gonna be posting more piercing videos for you guys because I know those are a lot of fun. Yeah, you guys, stay tuned and hopefully you guys have a badass rest of your day and that you're hanging in there during this pandemic and during quarantine and such. Get outside, go for a walk, be safe, get some air, support small businesses and such. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.